Hey guys, welcome. It's Lane LeVanway. You know what time it is. Let's talk about teeth. Okay, so Teeth is a comedy horror thriller movie from 2007, I believe. It was written and directed by, um, Mi what is it? Mitchell Lichtenstein. I know, what am I looking at? I'm looking at IMDb, guys. I gotta have IMDb here. I have an awful memory, and I gotta do what I gotta do. IMDb, I love it! Yeah, so I don't know if it's, if it's Lichtenstein or Lichtenstein. Writer, director. And it stars, uh, Jess Wexler. Now, I don't know who she, who she is. I looked up on IMDb and saw some of the things she's been doing. So, let's talk about this movie real quick. I sat one night and watched this movie with my wife, and it was weird. It is a strange movie. Do I like it? Yes. But it's definitely for a certain type of person. It's called Teeth, so this girl... She's about purity. It's, it starts off, and this, this girl, she's, it's about pure, uh, pure, her name is Dawn, and she's about purity and teaching kids. She goes to, to schools, and she teaches kids about purity and staying a virgin until you get married and giving that gift to the right person. In the meantime, she, of course, has peop a, a dude who likes her, and he wants to hook up with her. She likes him. She has feelings for him. And they want to hook up. It's, of course, they're teenagers. And, yes, they're talking about purity, but you still have urges. Ooh, urges. That was not a pretty face. So they keep getting closer and closer to having sex. Now, she's also got a weird relationship with her stepbrother, who you see in a flashback as kids that he doesn't like her. He didn't want his father to marry her mother, and he doesn't want to be like brother sister with her, and there was a weird incident where you see him pulled out, he, he, he then in a pool, and he sort of pulls down his shorts and says, like, you have to show me my, yours now. I show you mine, show me yours, and then he screams, and he's got this weird bite, like, like, mark on his finger, it's all like the tip of it's been, is gone, it's been bit off, and there's no reason why, and he doesn't quite remember it exactly as an adult, but there's a weird relationship between the two of them. Anyway, when she eventually gives in to her urges with her boyfriend out in like some secret makeout cave, now she took him out to the makeout cave, and then she's like, no, let's, let's not do anything. Why would you go to a makeout cave if you weren't planning on doing anything in the first place? That, that, I, I still was confused. She was clearly wanting to do something, but then as soon as they started, she's like, no, not that there's any excuse for what happens next. Not at all. I just thought it was strange. Well, let's get back to what we're talking about here. So they're in there, and he, he forces himself upon her. He suddenly, he, this guy was so nice, he's suddenly a jerk, and he forces himself on her, and then uh, next thing you know, he starts screaming, and he gets up, and his male member is gone. It's gone. It's blood spewing out. So through incidences like this, the, the girl, she gets online and she finds out that the there's something called vin, vagina dentata. Okay. And it was this myth that teeth growing in the vagina. Okay. And that like a hero had to overcome that woman. And the myth really is sort of revolving around the, the power of sexuality held with women. And that men are un unnerved and confused by that power that women hold over sex. And you have to conquer that power. That's sort of where the myth about this is coming. Unfortunately, she really has vagina dentata. It's freaky. It's totally freaky. Of course, I'm watching this with my wife, and we're both like, um, it's, it's, there's some funny moments, but it's still a little... Weird, and and the rest of the movie follows with her trying to. She goes to a doctor, and she's talking to other people about it, and she doesn't understand what's happening, and she's freaking out. Rightly so, I would freak out too if I had teeth in my genital region. I wouldn't like it. The movie seems really to be a lot about um, male violence, sort of, because every man she comes across is all they want is sex, and that was the one. That was the one issue besides vagina dentata that I had with the movie was it seemed like every dude that she that if they liked her like every guy liked her and they wanted her and not only that but they wanted to have sex with her but not because they wanted to date her so much as but they just oh, I'm gonna bang you and I know that as a teenage boy that that sort of is the mentality a little bit but still every dude she comes across including uh, her stepbrother actually all they wanted to have sex with her and so and not, and not even in a nice way, necessarily. And so it's really a lot about this male violence. And as she starts to embrace, you know what? This is what she has. And she learns, starts to learn how she can use it. So it doesn't have to, the teeth don't have to attack a male member, let's say. But she can if they want to. 
and she's she, you know she starts to really li- l- utilize this ability that she has. I guess the worst superpower ever is what I'm thinking. Worst superpower ever. So there is there is some gore, there is a, a little bit of nudity, there is a tiny bit of female nudity, and there's a little bit of male nudity. But generally, the male nudity, whether you like male nudity or not, is unpleasant because it's generally followed by blood, gushing blood, and and members that have been torn off. So my wife and I, after the movie was done, we were both laughed sort of like, ugh, that's weird. But I still liked it. I would say if you like quirky, funny horror movies, then you should check out Teeth. So if you don't like blood or privates or um, purity, even, don't see this movie. But if you don't mind that stuff and you want something a little quirky, a little strange, go see it. I'm going to go ahead and give this movie a, a one thumbs up. Now, here's what I'm going to ask you guys real quick. I want your input. I've been doing this... One thumbs up, two half a thumb, because it's just silly, it's fun, and I'm just trying to have a good time right now. But if you guys would like to see an actual A, B, C, D, F scale, I want you to go ahead and uh, click the link that's going to pop up, boom, that says you want that. If you like what I'm doing right now, for now, the thumbs, eh, click that one. And that way, I want to start to see what you guys would prefer. Do you want a more professional A through F scale, or just the thumbs up? So I'm giving this right now a one thumbs up. Again, see it if you like quirky, weird movies. Now, just as a side note, my wife, after we watched the movie, we, of course, both wanted to look up Vagina Dentata. Is this completely made up? No, it is not completely made up. There is stuff about... Now, we didn't get the Google search that she got in the movie, but we still got stuff about it. So then I walk away, come back a little later, I'm like, what are you looking at on your phone? How do I see pictures? I'm like, you did not just look up the image. Google image that, did you? She laughs. She did. She Google imaged Vagina Dentata. And yes, while there were some pictures about the movie, you got pictures that I didn't like. Some Obviously, they were fo- some were Photoshopped or some were statues and stuff like that. No, but not me. My wife. My wife is Google imaging this stuff. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you want to see more movie reviews and and whatever else is going to be coming out on this channel. It's a new channel, guys. I'm really enjoying doing this, and we're just doing it. Right now, it's movie reviews. I'm having fun. Hit subscribe if you like it, and please share it. Help me out. Help me grow here in the beginning if you like it, and give me comments. Give me constructive feedback to let me know what kinds of stuff uh, you like. I'm trying. I got to try to change things up. I lowered the uh, brightness here of my screen. It looks a lot better on the camera. Not so bright. See, so I'm making changes because there was a comment from somebody, a friend of mine. So I'm making changes, guys. So uh, keep doing what you're doing. And like always, watch more movies.